All right, so you've done it. You've ditched the big cloud providers. You've set up your own Proxmox server. Awesome. Welcome to the DIY cloud crew. But now comes the next big question, the one you're probably wrestling with right now, monitoring. See, your server might be humming along just fine. Everything seems great on the surface, but can you actually see what's going on inside? Do you really have visibility into what's happening under the hood? Because once you're running your own show, you need more than just a gut feeling that things are okay. You need cold, hard data. You need real-time, insightful monitoring that doesn't just tell you if something broke, but tells you why. Now look, a tool like Uptime Kuma, it's a fantastic starting point. It gives you a basic heartbeat. Is it up or is it down? But the second you need to know about CPU steal time or see which container is hogging all the resources or figure out what's causing a disk bottleneck, well, Uptime Kuma starts to feel like a glorified ping check. And that's when you start Googling. And you very quickly run into what I call the net data temptation. It pops up and it looks like the perfect, simple answer to all your complex monitoring problems. And I mean, what a promise it makes. Right out of the box, you get dashboards for absolutely everything. We're talking CPU, memory, disk IO, crazy detailed network stats, even usage on a per container basis. It's got email alerts built in and a super slick web UI. And yes, of course, it has a dark mode. It looks amazing. But here's the most seductive part of all, the installation. It's just so easy. You find the one-liner command on their site, you copy it, you paste it into your shell and pipe it to bash, and that's it. A minute later, you've got all those beautiful detailed dashboards. It feels like magic. And you're not the only one who thinks so. I mean, listen to this Proxmox user, a one-line script, and suddenly they have a huge number of charts and metrics. The initial reaction is pretty much universal. Wow, this is unbelievably detailed, and it took literally zero effort. But you know how it is. Whenever something seems that easy, there's usually a catch, right? So what are the hidden trade-offs? What's the price you pay for that simplicity? And here is our first big clue. Another user noticed that NetData itself was hammering the CPU, causing their server's idle power consumption to almost double, from 27 watts to 45 watts. That's, that's a huge deal. Your monitoring tool should be observing the load and not becoming a major part of it. So let's get real for a second. From Proxmox admins, here's the reality. First, as we just saw, it's not a lightweight tool. It can actually be a resource hog. Second, there's the security angle. Look, piping a random script from the internet directly into a root shell, it's probably fine for a quick test on a home lab, but it's a huge no-no for a production server. And third, there's what I call the freemium trap, which leads us right to this user's comment they suddenly realized they were on a free trial of the paid business plan. And that creates this big nagging question. What's going to happen when this trial ends? Which of these incredibly detailed features are suddenly going to vanish behind a paywall? It creates a ton of uncertainty. Okay, so if net data is the easy fix with some serious hidden costs, what are the other options? Well, this is where you discover a whole spectrum of alternatives, each with its own philosophy that goes way beyond a simple one-liner. And the choice you make really comes down to your philosophy. You've got net data, which is the undisputed king of instant gratification and ease, perfect for a home lab or a quick overview. Then you have the Grafana and Prometheus stack. That's the robust, scalable, future-proof option for serious enterprise-level monitoring. And then there's Zabbix, which is built for the admin who wants absolute granular control over every little thing. Let's talk about the Grafana stack. This is really considered the industry standard and for good reason. It is powerful, it's flexible, and it's built to scale. Plus, and this is a big deal, with Proxmox 9, it now supports open telemetry so you can natively send your metrics right over. Yeah, it's more work to set up, but this is a foundation you can build a company on. And then you have Zabbix. I love the title for this one, The Control Freak's Choice. If you're the kind of person who wants to meticulously define every single check, build custom templates, and create complex multi-stage alerting logic, Zabbix is your playground. It's less about pretty dashboards out of the box and all about rock-solid, structured control. And the list goes on. You've got newer, visually slick tools like Pulse, but they're still a bit on the bleeding edge. You have SNMP-focused platforms like Libra NMS that are amazing for network gear and VMs. And of course, there are commercial options like CheckMK that let you trade some of that fine-grained control for a simpler GUI setup. So with all of these choices floating around, what is the best option? How in the world do you figure out which tool is the right fit for you? Well, it all comes down to this one central trade-off. On one side of the spectrum, you have ease and speed. 
that's net data's territory, perfect for a quick and dirty home lab setup. On the other side, you have depth and control. That's the Grafana stack for enterprise scaling and Zabbix for complete structured visibility. And that's the real answer, isn't it? There is no single best tool. There just isn't. The right choice for a weekend project is the completely wrong choice for a small business's production server. The goal isn't to find the best tool. It's to find the best tool for your needs. You know, maybe the best way to think about net data is with this definition. It's a gateway drug for monitoring. It's so easy to get started with, it gives you a taste of what's possible. And very often, it's the thing that makes you realize you want the power and control of the more complex professional tools down the line. So think of net data as a double-edged sword. For a home lab where you just want to see what's going on quickly, it might be the perfect final solution. But for anything more serious, it's probably just the first very tempting step on a much longer monitoring journey. And that really leaves us with one final question for you to think about. When you look at your setup, or the one you're planning to build, is the tool you're choosing just a quick fix for today's problem, or is it a solid foundation that you can actually grow with for tomorrow?